With just 31 squadrons against the required 42.5, the Indian Air Force is adopting AI-powered simulators to train over 1,400 pilots, cost-effectively. These systems provide hyper-realistic combat scenarios, adaptive learning, and network-centric training, reducing flight costs and saving rupees 500 to 700 crore annually. Developed by DRDO, HAL and startups, they integrate with Rafaeli, Su-30MKI, and Tejas platforms. By enhancing pilot skills in BVR combat, electronic warfare, and multi-domain operations, AI simulation strengthens India's readiness against China and Pakistan. Idea Forge Zolt UAV, unveiled at Aero India 2025, has been upgraded with Zeus Numeric Smart Guided Munitions, transforming it from a surveillance drone into a precision strike weapon. With 6 hour endurance, 10 kg payload, 50 plus kilometer range, and AI powered autonomy, ZOLT is jam proof and deployable from confined areas. Zeus's precision munitions, tested at multiple altitudes, enhance accuracy and safety. Fully made in India, the armed ZOLT has drawn strong Indian Army interest for contested environments. DRDO's Defense Institute of Physiology and Allied Sciences is developing a multifunctional conductive fabric to protect Indian soldiers from detection by thermal imagers, infrared sensors, and electromagnetic surveillance especially in snowbound and high-altitude regions, like Ladakh and Sichin. The fabric mimics natural surroundings, hides heat signatures, and disrupts enemy sensors, giving troops a stealth edge. Designed for extreme conditions and modular use, the project invites private industry collaboration under the Atmanurbar Bharat Initiative. The Indian Army has suspended induction of Sharung artillery guns after finding major defects in metals, components, and muzzle brakes supplied by Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited. The project, launched in 2018, to upgrade 300 Soviet-era guns to 155mm caliber, aimed to boost firepower from 27 km to 39 km. While 159 guns were delivered, quality failures threaten performance and soldier safety. With Operation Sindor ongoing, the halt delays artillery modernization, putting pressure on a wheel to fix flaws and restore army confidence. India's Defense Ministry is preparing to sign a rupees 66,000 crore contract with HAL for 97 additional LCA MK1A Tejas jets. In October 2025, Following delivery of the first two aircraft from an earlier order of 83, the MK-1A, featuring advanced avionics, radar, and weapons, will replace aging MiG-21s and strengthen the IF's fleet. The deal includes a $1 billion GE aerospace contract for 113 F-404 engines. With HAL ramping up production to 16 to 18 jets annually, the move supports Atmanurbar Bharat, boosts indigenous defense manufacturing, and enhances India's air combat capabilities. German defense firm ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems, TKMS, partnering with Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders for India's rupees 70,000 crore project 75i submarine program, is demanding safeguards against future risks and liabilities. The move stems from the 1981 HDW submarine scandal which still casts a shadow on German deals. TKMS seeks a government-to-government -government guarantee for legal and financial security. Project 75I, aimed at building six AIP-equipped submarines, is vital for India's naval modernization amid China's expanding presence in the Indian Ocean. The Indian Air Force has rejected Russia's IL-76MD-90A, as a replacement for its aging IL-76 transport fleet, citing poor availability rates below the required 75% readiness. With the current fleet nearing retirement by 2035 and plagued by spare shortages, the IF is now considering Western options, particularly the Airbus A400M. The A400M, 
offering higher reliability, 37 to 40 ton payload capacity, and local manufacturing potential with Tata, has emerged as the frontrunner in India's medium transport aircraft program. India's Kaveri Derivate engine, often cited at 46 kN thrust, actually delivers 50 to 52 kN in flight and up to 81 kN with afterburner due to altitude and speed effects. With a thrust to weight ratio of 7.8, mass flow of 78 kg per second, on par with the GEF 414, and advanced specs like OPR 21.5 and turbine entry temperature up to 1700 K, the KD shows strong performance for combat aircraft. Despite challenges in materials and long-term reliability, the program marks a major step in India's aerospace self-reliance, supporting future fighters like Tejas MK2 and the MCA. Facing a squadron shortage and rising regional threats, the Indian Air Force urgently requires 114 new fighter jets under the $20 billion multi-role fighter aircraft program. The Ministry of Defense is set to finalize acceptance of necessity by November 2025, with options between a lengthy open tender or a faster government-to-government -government deal. Rafale jets, proven in Operation Sindor, lead the race, with France offering local assembly to meet indigenization goals. Other contenders include U.S., Russian, European, and Swedish fighters, but quick decisions are vital as older MiG-21, Jaguar, and Mirage fleets near retirement. Russia is aggressively offering India its Su-57E fifth-generation stealth fighter as an alternative to France's Rafale under the $20 billion MRFA program. Moscow promises deep technology transfer, full-source code access and integration of Indian weapons, proposing seven to eight squadrons, 126 to 144 jets. Instead of earlier talks for just two to three, Russia also offers local production at HAL with up to 80% indigenous content, a new powerful engine, and faster deliveries at lower cost than Rafale. While Rafale remains the proven choice, Su-57 yes stealth, autonomy, and customization could reshape India's fighter fleet strategy. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.